Hey there! My name is Broccolini. You can call me Rachel, but welcome to my channel. No. <laughs> hey there! My name is Broccolini. You can call me Rachel. Welcome to my channel. <laughs> Why? Hold on. Hey there! My name is Broccolini. You can call me Rachel. Welcome to my channel. Okay, now that the cheesy intro is done, seriously though, my name is Rachel. Welcome to my new channel. Um, I'm here because I am a certified YouTube video fitness journey weight loss transformation junkie. A little bit about me. I have been trying to get in shape and feel good and comfortable about how I look, how I feel mostly um, forever. Since 2016, when I first decided, hey, I'm not like as skinny or as energetic as I was when I was younger. So I literally have been tracking my progress for six years and it's on again, off again, all the time. It's just, it's never consistent. The definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over and expecting a different result. And I feel like that's what I've been doing for like the last six years when it comes to weight loss, burning fat, building muscle, eating healthy, and just being, just having a better lifestyle. Now, disclaimer, just because I feel the way I feel about my body does not mean I think or feel that way about you or yours. So I just want to make sure that it's very clear that these are just things that I think about myself. It's it's how I feel on the inside. Now this does not mean that you have to do anything that I'm saying. I am not trying to be a doctor or diagnose or anything like that. It's like I mentioned, YouTube junkie here. So I literally have followed every weight loss transformation health fitness journey channel on YouTube. Guarantee it. If you have one, I've seen it. I just want to share what has been working for me, what did not work for me, so that I might be able to help someone else. Okay, so just to start off, I quit smoking cigarettes, uh, Super Bowl 2021. I have been smoking since I was 18. Um, traditionally about a pack a day. I was having drinks or partying with my friends. Easily two packs in a night, no problem. I just felt like the smoking was the most detrimental to my health. Um, I could feel, especially when I would wake up in the mornings, I was starting to get that kind of phlegmy lung, even though I wasn't sick. <laughs> that was concerning. So I said, you know what? I really need to just put my head down and just get this one thing out of the way first. In every other fitness, you know, journey I've been on, I always smoked. So I was never able or willing to get rid of that habit. This time I felt that getting rid of the smoking right off the bat would just be step number one. Just do that, you know, just focus on that. So that's what I did. It's been about a month and a half now. Um, so yeah, Super Bowl 2021 was this date. Um, I haven't smoked since, and honestly, I haven't even really thought about it. I can make a whole nother video about that, but that's step one of what I did to change my lifestyle to become healthier. Okay, so then the, after I quit smoking, the next thing I did was basically started just eating better. I am kind of like an all or nothing personality. So every time I failed in the past, it was because I jumped headfirst. I didn't look before I jumped and I just did too much at once. In the beginning, I decided to just stop eating meals that were prepared outside of my house. So if I wanted a burger, I would make a burger. I would just go and get those ingredients and make it myself. It basically went from eating out all the time to creating the foods I liked at home and not eating out. I didn't track anything. I think that at first it's better to just take it slower and start with like medium sized changes, small to medium sized changes, as opposed to huge ones. So then once I had the smoking under control, my diet was under control, 
that's when I moved on to exercise. So I did not exercise straight away because I knew I was still trying to get through, um, you know, not smoking. I didn't exercise right away because I was still trying to get a handle on my three meals a day. So I would just do breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Um, I would keep my meals in the beginning of the day a little bit bigger. Dinner was a little bit lighter. And then after that, I started to do exercise. I enjoy exercise. I, I really don't despise it, but the hardest part for me was always like starting it. So once I started like the, the, the video or once I, you know, got on my Peloton, which I'll talk about, um, it's downhill from there. Like it's so easy. Well, not easy, but once I'm on it, once I'm doing it, it's no problem. I'm already there. I'm going to get it done. It's getting there. That's the hard part, at least for me. Honestly, it's just been a lot of just get it done. And I've noticed after a few weeks, you start to feel more energized. Now I'm still extremely tired. I've only been doing this for about six weeks now. I'm still extremely sore. Um, I'm still trying to find that, you know, long lasting, long term energy. I definitely get the endorphin rush and I love that, but I'm still, you know, waiting on that um, long term energy, which you always hear about when you're in shape and you're fit and you've got, you know, like your muscles and everything is, is kind of like firing on all cylinders. Um, still waiting on that. <laughs> I'll get there. So what I did in the beginning of my journey, which is what I want to share journey, I, you know, I don't know. I, I like the word journey, but it's so, it's kind of cheesy guys. Like it's kind of cheesy, right? Like it's, it's, it's a little bit cheesy. That's okay. But in the beginning of this decision to change my life, I took some videos of me trying on clothes. You guys, I have had these clothes forever. I literally bought the shorts, the jeans, like six, seven years ago. I was living in Minneapolis at the time and I was pretty thin then. I was around 145, 150-ish. I bought these clothes at that time to fit into. I'll show you the videos here. Okay, these are the Tommy figures. These I don't think ever fit me. Yikes. Yeah, these are really small. So I bought these ones in Minneapolis like 10 years ago and they didn't fit me then and I was really thin then. Um, I actually bought them um, as like a goal, like a gold jean and yeah, that's not happening. So that's about as high up as I can get them, seriously. They say they were seven, but like they seriously, I mean, I might be able to, but not, it's just, it's not happening. It's just not happening. They're so small. The crotch is just so, these are low rise too. So, hmm. And so obviously the goal for my first goal is to be able to fit into a lot of those um, shorts for summer. Um, right now it is March 21st and I am hoping that by June, July maybe, I'll be able to fit into those pants and those shorts. That's my, that's my goal. If I um, fall a little bit short, that's okay. It would mean a lot to me because I've had those clothes forever, forever. So I cannot wait until they fit. And here are some additional pictures of my starting weight. I was a little bit younger, like in my mid twenties to late twenties, 
was around 150. Um, and then obviously my lifestyle between all the beer, all the junk food, um, it definitely slowly but surely was raising um, a lot <laughs> and it didn't take very long. And um, here's some pictures of me around that heaviest. I, I don't consider myself fat. I just, I'm out of shape. I'm, I'm just, that's just plain and simple. I am just out of shape and that's what I consider it. And this is something that I really want to change um, for myself and it'll help not only me, but those around me. Because you know what that saying, you know, you can't pour from an empty cup. And I feel like I've been pouring from an empty cup for a long time. And so yeah, my goal weight at this point is 150 is my goal. It wasn't until March 1st that I became super consistent. Um, March 1st um, was I believe a Monday and I worked out every day that week and I've worked out um, every day since. And by every day, I mean I do the Peloton bike boot camp classes five days a week, so Monday through Friday. And then Saturday mornings, I'll typically do something gentle like some like a 20 or 30 minute yoga class on Peloton, or I'll do like a stretching routine on YouTube. And then Sunday I usually just stretch and relax. Before that, I was, like I mentioned, doing workouts here and there, but they were extremely inconsistent and they were not, um, they just weren't, I wasn't all in. That's just the only way I could put it. So I'm really excited to be sharing this journey with you because this is way outside of my comfort zone. This is something that I have never even thought about doing. And I think because I have done different things that I did before and I've seen some progress, I really wanna share it and document it because I feel like with everybody on YouTube that's helped me, I would love to be one of those people that can help others and show you that it can be done. It's 100% possible, you could do it. And I really want to prove not only to myself, but also to anyone that cares to listen that simple changes can make huge, huge changes in you, your mental stability, your mental um, health, and your physical health. So I'm really, really excited to go on this journey with you and share with you, you know, what I'm eating, what I'm doing, uh, my weight. Um, and then just my everyday life. Just, hey, let's go on a road trip. Let's go um, on a road trip, on a road trip, Rachel, on a road trip to Walmart, like a road trip. Where am I gonna go? <laughs> I mean, maybe one day we'll go on a road trip, but for now, no, 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 okay. So um, any, I'm just really excited and I'm looking forward to getting to know everyone and sharing tips and tricks. And just, I can't wait to even for me, like. The, the selfish part of me. I can't wait to just kind of see from video to video to video to video as we go, how I, how, how I change, like how my body changes, how my attitude changes, everything. So thanks for being here and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.